kind of show you what some of our plans are. Uh, we hope in the, in the very near future, this uh, one that Martin's holding in her hand now, this is an engineering technology building. That it's about a, a 20,000 square foot facility that we hope to begin construction on sometime in the next two years. Uh, it costs us about $3 million, and this will be the home for our wireless engineering technology program, electrical engineering technology program, computer engineering technology program. We do have temporary space on the, on the campus to start those programs, but we're looking to, to construct a, a permanent facility. We also, in the long range future, have uh, on the, 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 the uh, stand here an allied health education building. It's a, approximately 100,000 square foot facility that would cost us about $20 million, and, and we will be uh, uh, approaching our members of the General Assembly over the next few years to get funding for, for this, this building. Um, we believe that as the healthcare industry continues to grow, that we need to produce more and more graduates to help support the, the technical level of the healthcare industry. And, and certainly we, we are looking forward to, to bring that building on sometime in the next five to seven years. We're renovating space on our campus to create a new biology lab, uh, renovating space for our new second degree nursing program and respiratory program. We also have on our master plan um, plans to build a new horticulture lab uh, because of the agricultural environment that we live in. Uh, certainly there are a lot of demands for, for people who are working in, in the landscaping industry. And we have a great horticulture program. That wire grass is just so cramped that we can't grow it beyond where it is now. So we're looking to expand this. We're also looking to renovate our industrial areas to allow for expansion of our auto collision repair program, air conditioning program, and, and welding programs. And how can you help us with all these things that we've mentioned today? First of all, let us know how we're doing. We want to be sure that our programs are on target for your business needs. Secondly, help us get the word out about technical education. 80% of the jobs that will open between now and the year 2020 will require the sort of training that we provide right here at Watergrass. So, so help us get the word out that, that people are looking for training in these skills. We've got the training right here at Valdosta and we can prepare people for almost any job that they could, could find in this uh, in the Levin County service area that, that, that we're over. Use us for your training needs. We can provide training in anything that you need from conversational Spanish to Six Sigma lean and analytical uh, training. Join us in our efforts to create a more literate population through supporting our GED programs. Even though our GED instructional programs are free, people have to pay $150 to take the exam. And for many of these people, that's a barrier when they can't afford to take the GED exam. So, so helping us raise dollars to, to provide scholarships for people to take the GED would, would be a great help to us. Finally, become a financial partner of, of the college through from providing assistance to our foundation. These are just some of the ways that you can assist us in, in growing Wiregrass towards a technical college. We're so proud to be part of the Valdosta community. We've been here since 1963. We've changed the name, but we have not changed our mission, and we're looking forward to being here 50 years, 100 years from now. Thank you again so much for your time today and your support, and we look forward to seeing you again.